down, everybody. It's God speaking of Astro Vibe. Jesus the Christ, little brother. My name is Pretty Face. I'm a mother. I sell everything for cat, and I got 27 businesses. What's up, everybody? It's Mr. Jangle. Dang. What's good? It's your boy, Dark Man. It's your boy, OTK, a.k.a. Big Squirrel, not the little one. Little one. Welcome, welcome to the hundred to the No, you know how you gonna talk about now. Yeah, you gonna talk about the shit. I don't know nothing about it. That's so, what you, I, I know. I heard of it. I, I, I didn't even. It. I I heard the you name before, but I don't, I don't know. know. That's what, what I'm saying. What the fuck is it about? I don't know what the fuck is it about. Yeah, I don't remember the original Team Wolf. Talking about this nigga out here. I'm, I'm, you gonna tell us what it's about, nigga? You know the Michael J. Fox, the original Team Wolf, high school kid finds out he's like hereditary, you know, fucking werewolf and shit. Wait, he turns into a wolf and he playing basketball and shit. Yes, yes, yes. That's the original with Michael J. Fox. Let me look, let me look back again. Let me let me go back and Google it to make sure that's what I'm talking about. You right though, the hairy ass dude with the uniform playing basketball. Where had the Leatherman shit on? Yeah, like everybody, everybody loved them. I did. I mean, you never seen it. Of course, you did. What year the old Team Wolf came out? Like nineteen eighty something, or nineteen ninety two, some shit like that. Like eighty nine or something. Yeah, that's the movie. Eighty five. Eighty five. Okay. Yeah, when he was playing basketball and shit. Right, that's what I said. Yeah, I, I know what that shit. is. I know what that is. I'm trying to look. What's up with y'all? I'm but I guarantee, I guarantee the new one, they gonna fuck it up. It's probably gonna be a different sport. They should. That's one they should have left alone. Okay, so it they goes... Play soccer or some shit. Listen, mm-hmm. it goes to show y'all don't know nothing about it because the movie that's coming out is based off the television yeah. show that came out on MTV right but the MTV show was like the remake of the movie just they modernized it and and drama filled it yeah I remember the old one that's the one I remember the old like the old one the 85 when bro had the Leatherman on and them uh them damn Chinese Nikes (laughs) right yeah that's the one I remember with Bro had the Leatherman, and then he was trying to. Uh, he was at first he was trying to hide it. Yeah, right. He was trying to hide it. So what they did was they came out with like a modern day one, except for he wasn't born with the trait. He became a werewolf by being scratched by somebody that was born with the trait of being a werewolf. Yeah, I'm not watching. It. Yeah, so like they modernized it. It, it was cool as fuck though. I think it, it, so it was like six six seasons. I think each season had between 12 and 16 episodes or something like that. And it was, you know, high school kids or whatnot. The guy didn't play basketball this time. He played lacrosse. And him and his buddy Styles, you know, that was like the one he told what was going on. That was his buddy. Something like old boy having in, like Michael J. Fox's character had in his team were for the of you know the 80s time period it's fire though know, me and my brother kept up with it the entire time it was on mtv no no yeah, nothing so yeah, 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 it was not like some shit y'all was into i'm saying why y'all are quiet about this it? team wolf man i mean like it's just like we don't watch shit like that, bro. Remember, man, like, what the fuck I is wrong the with y'all? Oh, 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 but you watch it. I haven't right? seen like that TV series. I ain't seen none of that. No, you know why I remember it? Because when I used to be scrolling down Cox TV, or man, through the got that shit, it used to be on MTV all the time. Well, yeah, because it's the shit. I ain't never stopped and watching shit. It was the hottest thing going at that time. No, you know, just... <laughs> I just ended up watching it because, um, I remember I was just, you know, just bored one day, and then I ended up watching the old one. And I was like, this was a good movie. And then I started watching, like, a bunch of, like, old movies back then when they came out. But that movie, that the old, the very old team with the first one, was dope as hell for for that year that it came out. 
Right, now nah, the movie was good, will, and it was I, it was more than one. Yeah, I'm talking about yeah. the one that came out in '85. Right, and then it was the one that came after that. I, think, I want to say it was three of them. I think one came out in uh after that, like way, way, way after that. Damn, yeah, one came out way, way after that. I don't care. Luck of the Irish is better. Luck of the Irish. You talking about the Disney movie? No, he talk about another basketball movie. <laughs> yeah, he said like he a... talk about the Disney movie. Yeah, because it was a Disney movie called The Luck of the Irish. I swear. A Disney movie called Luck of the Irish. I thought so. Um, uh, yeah, that was a Disney movie. Yeah, that that is the Disney movie, The Luck of the Irish. Okay, I feel better. You didn't even see Teen Wolf, so how you know it was better? First of all, that's not better than Teen Wolf. It's not. And, and second off, Luck of the Irish is it's corny not. compared to Teen Wolf. You didn't like, even know what Teen Wolf was two minutes ago. But, but he knows what I had to go now. back and look. <laughs> I had to go back and look. Nigga, the show came out in 85. 85. Listen, and it was a movie. Listen, my point is, that means it wasn't memorable enough. You know what I'm saying? It was you memorable enough for me. Like go back Irish, and Google. Bro, when you say look at the Irish, all I remember was the basketball movie. I had to go back and look at it and see what it was, too. <laughs> yeah, but Team Wolf, you didn't even know that. Yeah, but now that he does nah. know. Nah. So, look, Dark Mask, the, the characters from the Teen Wolf movie in 1985 are, are have the same names as the Teen Wolf in the modern day on the TV show. So it's still Scott, which was played by Michael J. Fox. Then you got Styles well, yeah, they couldn't change. Yeah, so they could. So yeah, it was just a it was just a reboot that they just modernized. So, but it, it was a television show at first. The fucking television show was hot. So the same guys, Tyler and Tyler, who were both in the TV show, they turned around and did the movie for it, which is coming out in three days. Yeah, I'm not watching it out there. How you can say the one from 1985 was fire, but you want to watch the one that's coming out in three days? <laughs> Knows when you take something from way back then and try to modernize it, it's trash. But they're not going based off of the old Team Wolf. They basing the movie off of the new Team Wolf. Exactly. No, no, not at all. I don't believe so. So, so we're gonna talk about this shit next week because I'm telling you, it's gonna be fire. Watch the ratings on it. The ratings are gonna be fire. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not watching. I didn't say you was gonna fucking watch it. I said let's watch the ratings. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. I thought you were gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, fuck right. I thought you were gonna watch it. I thought you're it was coming out this morning. I had to change it. posts and shit because I thought it was coming out this morning. You was still gonna be asleep. You was gonna miss it anyway. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, I was up at two in the morning. I was ready to go. No, uh, I was up at. You wasn't up at two in the morning. You was up. I know you was up. I was stalking you. You was on fucking uh, Facebook and and uh, Discord. I was just waking up though. Everybody else in the house was asleep. You would have in that podcast chat. You would have joined that podcast chat. Nah, that part I didn't see. Yeah, I was sitting in the podcast thing. I I looked this morning. I'm like, damn, I'm still in the damn podcast chat. Just sitting there looking stupid. Just sitting in that motherfucker. Because after the game, I immediately went over to the podcast chat because I was waiting for Shad to get in there so I could talk shit to him. And then Shad had the 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 nerve to ask. Hey, you gonna get on the game? I got on the game. Shot never appeared on the game. Talk about yeah, yeah I'm gonna just, help I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him watch the Daphne. But you know, Shot do Shot shit. No, 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 I was. And then it was like, you know what? Y'all pissed off. I don't even wanna play the game. Shot do Shot shit. I remember saying they had a Team Wolf too, but that one wasn't Michael J. Fox, and it don't look like shit to do with the first one. But yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm sorry to change the subject back to Team Wolf because I know you motherfuckers don't really care because you know oh, it is I don't, what it I don't is. care about the new one. I don't because I didn't even hear about the new one coming out. I didn't hear about a new remake. That's how much out of the loop I was about the new one. Well, so I was excited. That's how that went. I get. Well, it. You know the I understand. Be good. It's not gonna be good to you because you're not a fan of it. You know nothing of it. To other people, it's gonna. Be, you gotta stop being so biased, it. man. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you what I'm not a fan of it. But I'm also tell you what my point is. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't get enough publicity, what we see? Imagine how many other people ain't gonna see. They ain't be like, oh shit, I like that movie. Nah, I don't know. Like it. It's kinda. 
It's kind of in the even news. Movies that got even movies that got publicity still like let's, let's they don't know, always like, bust. Like, like uh, like that that Will that Will Smith Emancipation movie. That movie was fire, but ain't nobody watched it. What movie Emancipation? You got people like me. That Will Smith slave movie. I ain't know they had a movie called Emancipation. Yeah, hey, he but came you know, out with it, and it was only in theaters for like a week because ain't nobody you know makes them watch it. You know why people don't go watch it? I want to go watch it. I'm still watching it, and I found my wife out today. But people is like they try to just it's just the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Slave movies, just the same shit over and over. Like man, uh, like just portraying us. Like they're just making money off this shit at this point. Uh-huh. Like when Dango came out, Dango was cool. Cool, this shit funny too. All right, bet. But after a while, you they just mold just all you doing is police and slave movies. Like, like you know what I'm saying? It's not even. It ain't no point of. It ain't being educational. It ain't funny. It ain't nothing. It's just y'all just oh here go uh, black people in the struggle, and they making it out the struggle. Right? Y'all like it? Y'all 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 like this? And it should be an old at this point. Nah, don't don't forget the so don't forget the moments about. that they try to make funny within. The bullshit that they showing. I ain't gonna lie, that uh, that Harry Tugney movie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, that, that was movie, fire. That, that movie was hitting. Yeah, that was a little deep. Yeah, it, it showed the different point of view of everything else. Harry Tugney was deep as I'm fuck. Not nah, the emancipation. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see that one. I didn't even know it existed. No, I don't know it's different. It was like the people say they just tired of every year they come out with a new slave movie, like Twelve Years a Slave, fucking Django, like all of these movies come out back to back, and there's no point. Like you don't release no Django. Nah, Django, Django, was, Django different. was a Django, 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 Django was the they had action in that. It was like Django was like, a Quentin Tarantino movie. movie. Like Anywhere it goes, it's a fucking Quentin Tarantino movie. Like you even just the Civil War movies. Like it just can't be strictly about white people. Somehow they gotta, you know, they gotta throw the black slave in there. Like you know what I'm saying? I'll but they do. I mean, I don't watch those movies, movies, but they usually do. Mel Gibson did it in The Patriot. But they just feel like, but they, I feel like they feel like that's what we want to see. Like, oh, y'all don't tell us about our history enough. All right, cool. Let's just keep releasing movies. They gonna go see it. We gonna make money. Nah. After a while, it's just like, all right, bro. You know what we meant, but now you just doing this shit just to. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's why we make mostly our own movies now. Like, if you noticed, a lot of uh, new media companies, black-owned media companies have mm-hmm. come up and they, you know, they're making their own shit now. Some of it looks low budget, but it's funny as fuck. But, and that's what a lot of them go to is to try to stay on the comedy side because when we try to be too serious, it's taken as something different. So a lot of times we put out certain stuff and I, I feel like, you know, us as a community should more or less, you know, have like, don't get me wrong, Bel Air is fucking great. I like the way they took it away from the let's make our real, you know, let's make our real lives funny to give you, you know, to get ratings, but to show people, you know, say, hey, this is what we do. And this shit's you know, hilarious, but it's serious. It needs to be talked about. That's how they used to do TV show before. So now TV shows are being done with a little bit more, you know, drama, a little bit more. Oh my God, I can't believe they just did that shit on TV type thing. You know what I'm saying? So, but I like it. I love which it's the direction they that they the, bring it to in. the audience. Huh? Nowadays, you got to do more dramatic shit in movies to keep the attention of the audience. Well, yeah, because back, you know, back then they didn't have to do all that. No, nigga just told you know, the, but at the same time, the shit that they was doing back then, like they was making light of serious issues. You see what I'm saying? They were still putting it out there. They was using their platform to get those issues talked about and getting it out there. But they made light of those situations by adding quirky ass jokes to it. Now you like, for instance, for Bel Air. Now you see Carlton up there. He's snorting fucking. I don't know what kind I of pills. Like he's smart. Even, 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 I didn't watch that. I didn't, oh, fuck yeah, I watched part of it, but after a while, it just, what? That shit was I didn't, crazy. Because I knew it wasn't gonna be with you know. I knew it wasn't Stop gonna be. Stop trying to look for with that. Nigga, watch back then. Stop trying to look for that. See, that's the problem. People, you see, no, no, no. you. It's the same thing that you're saying though. You or that what well, I'm saying. It's the same thing I'm saying. No, but you did just say it. Like you got to change with the times. 
You see what I'm saying? You just said it. You gotta change with the times. If you take something like Bel Air, if you take something like if you take something like the Fresh Prince, and you gonna all of a sudden turn into this action filled weird shit, no, it's not even that action. Was, that was, that was, there's no action in it. But the butler was no, a hit no, man. No, 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 no. Nah, the butler is a hit man, but you don't see him doing no hit man shit. What? My you don't, you didn't is. see him doing nothing hitmanish. Bro, they he didn't, didn't get rid of people. Listen to what I'm saying. Did you see him perform the act? He didn't, he didn't get rid of people. He didn't have to, but he I didn't say that. I didn't like, say he, no. No, 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 no. I didn't like say that. They like insinuated that. it. Hey, no. At least that's the, the but that's the same point I'm trying to board, make. Bro. What do you mean? That's the same thing I'm trying to make. The fucking points that they was insinuating back then, they were making jokes about it. So now they're insinuating that that uh, Jeffrey's a hitman, but you never seen him do anything uh, along the line of being a hitman. You didn't see him take nobody out. You got the gesture that he did it. You got the insinuation that he did it, but you didn't see him do it. It's the same thing. So just it's just changed with the times. That don't, that don't mean they ain't. Wait, so if again? I robbed the bank, but you didn't see me do it. I ain't a bank robber. Fuck no, you ain't see you do it. I don't got no proof that you did it. That's if I ain't see you do it, how can I say you did it? Cause cause somebody oh, said oh, you oh, did oh, it. Cause oh, somebody oh. insinuated oh, you did it. Oh, Paul, stop right there. That's why innocent people go stop to right prison. There. I'm glad you said that, God speaking, because your argument uh, a few podcasts ago when you had brought up the situation of if somebody said some to another friend you know that they liked you or whatever and then so and so broke up the argument was like well you can't say that he said that you can't react on it because you don't know if he said it or not but you'd be like oh well he said it though but so you gotta keep that same argument for this argument you know what I'm saying even though you know what I'm saying even though it's a different situation it's still the same argument who gotta keep the same argument just because you didn't see somebody just because you didn't hear somebody say something no like no no no. so hold on wait so since thing. we bringing up since we bringing up this past podcast about me saying something when I brought up that situation that wasn't off personal feeling and belief that was to see no, where I know it's you not off of personal feeling and belief, but exactly saying, but right here like, right now this argument. is personal this is personal feeling and belief though like if I didn't see you asked me personally well, not you, but Tony. Tony asked me personally yeah. if Man, he you robbed just the bank. said that I see him do it, and I say no. You said, but it was insinuated. Did you not? No, say no. That? I'm it's listen. I don't know bank. where you confused that, but no. What I'm saying is, you said he was a hitman, right? It you was. said Jeffrey was well, a hitman, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, I think he was. And then okay, you said, I said, oh, did, did you see, see him, him do it? Though you said you just, you just. You know they made it seem like he did it, but did you see exactly. him? Exactly. I'm not. I'm man. not disagreeing That's that he exactly is. I'm what just. God just said. Wish I said. When could, ain't that when the point? That That's argument. the same point you just made. Yeah, when we had exactly. that argument, that, that discussion, you was like, well, even though you was like, well, so Erica was like, um, well. You can't. She kept telling you. She was like, "Well, you can't go and confront him because you don't know if he said that or not. It could be just other people coming to you saying he said that. You don't know if he said that or not. So therefore, you can't confront him on it. And this is basically the same argument for what we're talking about now. Oh, just because we didn't see you, you telling us just because we didn't see him do hitman stuff, we can't call him hitman. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say you but couldn't. I didn't you say you like, couldn't call oh, him that. That's you exactly what I. That's why yeah. I used that example of. So you mean to tell me I robbed the bank, but you didn't see me do it? So that mean I'm not a bank robber? No, I said that to me you are not a bank robber because I did not see you rob the bank. I, I'm not gonna say you're you're a bank robber. Just like I said, oh, so I'm you, not gonna you, say. You, just like I said, jury, I'm right? not gonna not say judge. he a hit man. Right. It's only a say it again. So you you jury not judge on this. No, I get what you're saying. Now I get what you're saying. At some points in life, you got to use common sense. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Yeah, to me you're not a hitman because I didn't see you do it. I mean, you're not a bank robber type. You do it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, for instance, all right. Say, say you got a partner you know that he, he did it though, so you yeah, know he's you a know, bank robber. Exactly, but that's my whole point. That's that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you know somebody that did something just because you know they did it. Did you see him do it? So basically, for your whole point, you just gonna ignore common sense. No, it's not ignoring common sense because common sense ain't common. Everybody ain't got it. Everybody ain't got sense. So how's it common? I'm 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 gonna use what I need to use for certain situations to get me through that situation at that moment. It doesn't matter if it's common or not, because I'm not a common individual. I do uncommon shit. For instance, my pictures and my posts. I do uncommon shit. 
So for me, sense is not common. Common sense with a point of getting a reaction. But what, what reaction so am I looking for? Purposely, <laughs> what reaction am I looking for? What reaction for what? what? What reaction am I looking for right now? What during this? Yeah, I know. You know we, what we talk about. You like he because first off. Skrillex I gotta keep the same energy from when we was talking about oh boy suck a dick. Dude, but you know, you know but, he was gonna get a different reaction. A different reaction from what? From saying Bel El was fire and it's different and it's and it's but modern. At what point did I say Bel El was stupid? All I said is I didn't watch it. <laughs> you said you stopped watching it. No, I didn't say I stopped watching it. You did I say said you I stopped watching. I said I stopped watching it. Look, you see how this man sitting here trying to oh, frame me? Excuse I said, me. I started watching I, because after a while, it just got to a point where like, I had to hold You know what I'm saying? Like, One of y'all said it, it was, was stopped oh, watching it because look, it was like, yeah, it wasn't like. It, but you out here trying to frame me for this man, Kern. So that was, that was you, Skrilla, that said it wasn't like Fresh Prince? Yeah, that was him. <laughs> Could have sworn that was you, no, Tony. He said he stopped watching it. I said, I'm not watching it because it's not like the Fresh Prince. Okay, so all right, all right. I heard you, uh, and I mixed it up with, it. with, with what he said. So you never watched it, and Squirrel, you stopped watching it because why? Well, how you knew? How you knew Jeffrey was a hitman? <laughs> huh? Because I watched the number. You know they show, you know they show on, Tony, dramatic parts. See, that's how the fucking you, shit you know, got mixed around last time. And they show clips and dramatic parts of movies. Right, so that's a, you. You see, so you oh, got I never me. sat there and watched the TV show. I saw like a clip scrolling down my news feed or something. So wait, so how did you know that he a hitman though? If you ain't still seeing him doing nothing, with not the, they said are something. You, are you not listening? <laughs> are you not mm-hmm. listening to what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm not. I, I guess I'm not listening. Say it again. In social media. Uh huh. Nowadays, you don't even have to watch something without knowing something. I could not watch a movie and know exactly what a whole movie is about. Just like before I watched Black Panther, I knew Black Panther was going to be just a long funeral. Why I knew it was going to be a long funeral before I watched it? Because I did watch it. You know, we went out the movie theater and shit. But how I knew that it was going to be a long funeral because of social media. But it, it didn't feel like a long funeral to me. We not even gonna go there. Why I felt? Well, yeah, well, I wanna know it. It was, why I felt like a long funeral, bro. It was a long funeral. That Black Panther movie was a long funeral. After they got over the Black Panther death, when we finally got over his death, and then boom, his mama died. Not a funeral back on again. <laughs> it was just a long funeral, bro. Like <laughs> we just gonna call it what it is. <laughs> I was All like, right. yeah, they finally got right. they finally got over to Charles' death and All then right. boom, his mama died. Now we got another funeral. Alright, I I could fuck with that, nigga. <laughs> but, 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 but that's how it happened. He died in the company too, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm saying though, but what I was saying was, you know, I like knew it first, was gonna be I knew it was gonna be a sad minutes, movie. So but if you, if you, I didn't expect it to be three hours. Just a whole funeral. And then when I was like, okay, you know, they got over it, whatever. And then boom, his mama died. Now it's another funeral. I was like, "What the fuck?" Now she got to grieve over two people. Now what the hell? <laughs> but um, so Black Panther two wasn't originally supposed to be about that. You know what I'm saying? If you read the comic book, it's just that because he died, family just didn't realize they had to speed up the comic book to that point. You know what I'm saying? So it feel like it's going along with the comic book still. So his mama wasn't supposed to die this fast. Right. Yeah, it, but that's that's just like a whole lot of that's just like a lot of stuff. It, you gotta go with, like you could have took a different direction with it, but you gotta go with it because of like because the books of, and shit. That's yeah. just like um, I don't know if y'all saw Alice in Borderlands. Yeah, I did. No, nope, you I saw didn't. Alice in Borderlands too. No, I, I didn't God know there was a two. Ever... I didn't see the first huh? one. I didn't see the first one. You didn't see it. All right, Alice in Borderlands was along the lines of uh when Square Games and stuff came out. When Three oh, gotcha. Games came out, I ended up watching Alice in Borderlands because of a recommendation from Netflix. They was like, hey, if you like Squid Games, you're going to like this. I turned on Alice in Borderlands, and then I was like, Squid Games ain't got shit on this. <laughs> Squid Games ain't got shit on this because the Squid Games games, I will survive. 
Alice in Borderland, I'm dead the very first game. It's just, it's just so, like what? So what is Alice in Borderland? What is it? Like I really right. watch Squid Game, so I really I'm a, I, I know I'm the a concept. Basically, I'm gonna basically dumb it down. But I ain't. Well, not right. dumb it down. I'm gonna basically nah, go ahead, yeah. Go you know, hey. I'm, I'm basically going Alice in Borderland. Terms. Okay, you gonna put it in lame terms. Gotcha. Yeah, a deck, a deck of cards, a deck of cards. The first Alice in Borderland was, um, I think it was like uh the first all the way up to ten on the deck of cards. You got spades, you got clubs, you got diamonds, you got hearts. Hard cards are the worst because hard cards play with your feelings. It, it, it basically plays with your feelings, your heart, all that. So this uh, not like in the. So um, like, where you at? Like, what's the setting? Like, where you at? You, I think it's like you in like Tokyo, or whatever. Okay. These these friends that they grew up together, they like brothers or whatever. They grew up together like brothers. You see them start off. One of them, uh, one of them, his dad complaining because all he do is game. They tell him to get a job. The other guy has a job. He's working in a corporate office and he just keep giving his mom money. And the mm. other one was basically working at a bar and he was sleeping with his boss girl and his boss walks in and beat him up so boom they all chilling together they all saying let's go get a drink or whatever so they all link up and then um they're playing around across the street and all of a sudden uh the, you hit a police and when you hit a the police they run and hide in the bathroom because they think the police after them so they all sit in one stall and then when they come out of the bathroom everybody in the city is gone everybody's missing so like they they trying to figure out what's going on so then they saw a light in a building and they walked over to that building and when they first walked through the building you see like a little laser when they go through the building they think they still alone they pick up these phones and these id cards or whatever and then a lady walks in and she's looking at them like uh yeah i don't think you know what you know you don't know what's going on so she showed them that once you walk through that that little gate, you're now in the game. So now you can't go back out. So you go through the game. They give you uh, they tell you what they what the card is or whatever, and then you gotta go through. You gotta try to beat that game. Basically, you gotta beat that game objective. If you lose it, you get shot in the head with a laser through through the sky, like a laser beam come out of the sky and kill you. If you try to escape the game. If you go back through that little uh, border, that little wire border, you get basically lasered through the head. So you got to win these games to continue to live on. Then they end up, they end up on this island because he, uh, he ended up getting a heart card. Like, a, 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 I think it was like a seven of heart. So he ends up going in that game with his two best friends. And the game was a big bad wolf game, basically. But the in order for you to win that game, the wolf at the end of the game, they put on like this little kind of like headset. Kind of like a little Oculus. You have to, if you're a sheep, you have to look at the wolf and become the wolf. Like you got to make eye contact with the wolf to become the wolf. And at the end of the game, only the wolf survives. So you got to run and hide. So his brothers, he, they, they, uh, he becomes a wolf, the little, the gamer dude. He was like the little weak link, the gamer dude. And all his, his best friends died, basically. So now he got to go out, you know, you got a certain time limit to go back into another game. If you, if you let your time run out, like after you beat the game, they'll give you like three days, four days before you got, you have to go into another game. So you get to chill the shit. Die. And if you don't get into mm -hmm. another match. if So you get to chill for a few days after a victory. And if you don't get yeah. into another match, you die. Yeah, you yeah. So either way it go, you gotta go back real into life. another game. So he real met life this call girl of duty. that he was in. Hmm? See fucking real life call of duty. No. No. You ain't, this you ain't is shooting. much worse. He didn't huh? say much worse. He said much worse. Yeah, it's much worse. It's like Resident, to, it sounds like Resident they Evil didn't get, on crack. They didn't, they didn't get to shoot or nothing until like the second. Until like the second um, Alice in Borderlands. The first oh, one was basically they, they met these uh they met these dudes on an island. Everybody mm -hmm. had like a little, they had like a system going. Yeah. 
they had they had like a, a higher up on the island and then they had like four four people under him and then they had like a system going and they had it to well the whole island gotta participate in these games you can have fun you can do what you want on the island but you have to participate in these games get these cards and you gotta give them to the head the head person so they figured if you get all of these cards you would be able to escape this world basically they think they like some type of different world or whatever they think if you get you know all these cards you'll be able to escape and then they'll just like, well, you know, so the head up going to escape first, and then the next person in line going to escape, and we just gonna keep doing this process until everybody escapes. But it doesn't go like that. Gotcha. So it's never true. They they found out that there was people, there was plants, there was people that was planted into these games to monitor the games, but they really working for like the head mistress of the game. So it's the chick running everything. Uh, kind of, sort of. All right, so don't tell me more, well, because now I feel like so you far tell that me we know now, it is. I'm interested. Oh, so like this is a seasonal thing. This is not a movie. No, it's, it's the season. It's episodes. Oh, because when you was like two, so you mean they only on season two? Yeah, because the, the first you. season was the first season was uh regular cards. Gotcha, I thought you was talking about like movie. I thought this was like two different movies and shit. I was like, oh, well, I had to check this shit out. They're coming out with a third season movie. All right. The, season two was the face card. Sure, I don't know shit about what y'all was talking about for a second. I got, I got it now. Yeah, season two was the face cards. So season two was just like, you go through season one and you thinking, oh yeah, you know, we won this game, we finished it or whatever. Boom, it's all over. Because I think the last card they had to get was like a ten of hearts. And in Ten of Hearts, they had everybody that was at that hotel. It was like a, uh, it was like a, a game that messed with everybody' mind and everybody' heart. So after oh. they after they finished that game, everybody think, "Oh yeah, we free or whatever." And then all of a sudden, that, that lady who was controlling the game, she popped up on the screen, and she was just like, "Congratulations on beating what you call them. Congratulations about you know beating this or whatever." And then she just like, "We had so much fun." Now it's time to do the face cards, and you just see like the, this big ass blimp with like uh, the king and a jack and a queen and shit on it in the sky. This bitch out here kidnapping people and shit. I don't like how it ended, but I'm 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 guessing there's they're going to be a season three because at the end of season two, you know they did the face cards or whatever, but then at the very end of it. They showed a table, and on that table, it had the Joker card on it. Oh, that's gonna be wild. Mhm. Mm he said, mm -hmm. so, at the, so at the end of at the end of season at the end of season two, at the end of season two, it's just like you know, it's like a reunion. Everybody they try to make it look like they was all in like this little coma or whatever. Because everybody he made friends with in that actual uh, in the actual seasons, they all ended up in the in the hospital. They all was in the hospital, so they don't really know each other in real life. He remembers everything. He low key remember everything, but um, they don't. But then at the very end, there's a Joker card. The girl he fell in love with is in there in the hospital with him so he's just like you know at the end they're like talking to each other or whatever and then it just goes back to that damn table and they got a joker card on it so this nigga is still in the game <laughs> these oh, days shit. still in the game shit. well shit that's uh that's gonna be some fire shit then it is it fucks with your head yeah so I'm gonna have to check I'm gonna fuck out to check that out into the Alice, yeah, not into the Badlands. Alice in Borderlands. Addis in Borderlands. Into the Badlands was my shit. I don't know why I brought that up. Deuces of that... Squid Games. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know. I tried to watch. I like watched two episodes of Squid Games, and I really couldn't get into it. I feel like you know, I'm, I'm. I already yeah, said I'm not normal, so I really know I'm not normal. Squid Games was old. It was just okay for me. Like some of the stuff was like I could beat that. Like I, I. I would look at Squid Games and be like, oh, yeah, that, that's a piece of cake. Like, if some shit like that happened in real life, I'd be like, that shit a piece of cake. 
Alice in Borderlands, you dead. You dead as fuck. If you not, if you, if you unathletic, you're dead. If you give a shit about shit, you're dead. If you, if you not witty and you don't think of processes and shit, you're dead. So my question is, since you said in the beginning that you would have been dead. Yeah. Who's if gonna I, be your weakness? Who's your I weakness? Wasn't, I'm about to tell you, if, let's say, boom, I, I ended up in that game with the little smart kid. I had to do was get past the first game. Once I got past that first room with the little smart kid, if I had just listened to him and let him, like the little gamer kid, once you get past that first room, everything else is like witty. It's like using your brains to get through it. All the physical challenges, I would have got through that shit easy. Like they had the uh fucking um it was like a hide and go seek type shit, like tag. It was a, no, I, I call it hide and go seek type shit. But there was a room that you get in, you got 20 minutes to find this. You in, you in like a hotel complex. You got 20 minutes to find a room that has the bomb in it and press the button to stop the bomb from detonating. But then you got shit. a person with a horse mask on. You got a person with a horse mask on and a gun hunting y'all down. Told you, Resident Evil on crack. No, nah, he got he just he a regular person. He just got a a, a mask on. He was uh oh. he was you he was uh like army. He was like from the army or something. Gotcha, gotcha. He was military basically. So he's hunting y'all down. But then what they don't tell you is during that game, once you find the room, there's another person. But the other person that was in that room was not military like he was. The other person was just like a person that they, you know, got to help out. It was just a lady, but she had a gun too. So you basically, and what was even more crazy is once you find this room, there's two buttons on the wall. And so two of y'all got to be able to make it to this room and press this button for the bomb not to detonate. That's tough. So it's like uh room escape. <laughs> but what happened was they ended up working, like the people that was in that game mm -hmm. ended up low-key working together. And that's how they was able... I think they stopped the bomb from detonating and like... I think they had like a couple of seconds left on the clock of that bomb with a bullet. They, of course they did. Of course yeah, they bro. did. You know how they what, do what, what movie? What movie? A TV show they don't have a couple of seconds left on for them. Yeah, you know how they do. They had to. And on another note, speaking of military, you know what I'm saying? Guess who's finna go back? This guy. I decided to accept his uh day fifteen thousand dollars sign on bonus. Damn, bro, I'm sorry to hear that. So yeah. yeah, but no, 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 it's uh it's reserved stuff, so I'm good. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. I could continue on with my everyday life. Mm -hmm. oh. But this yeah, that's my beard. That is a must check out. Addison Borderland is a must check out. Well, I watched a few episodes I did uh I know somebody who was watching it too, so I was like, all right. She, that, uh, speaking of stuff that's coming out, that Harry Potter game that's coming out. Yeah, no, I'm not playing it. I'm playing it because, you know, I'm a fan of it, but I'm playing it, but it, it angers me that it's not multiplayer. Like, it's not, it's not, not like open world, like. You know, it right around been, in the room, nigga? Yeah. It would have been, no, it would have been dope as hell if they would have made it, like, open world like Skyrim. Yeah, I get you. Like like Elder Scrolls. No, it was Elder Scrolls, not Skyrim. Like Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls had it to where you know you'll see other people. Y'all be talking mm -hmm. shit to each other and shit. But this one ain't like that. Like why would you make this shit single like this shit could have been big. It could have been huge. So unless y'all gonna sit there and make like a multiplayer into it. Like y'all know y'all gonna put the game out and see how it go. And then, like, try to uh, add, like, a multiplayer update or some shit. Like, an open world update of it. Yeah. But I don't understand why y'all wouldn't do that to start. I feel like they need to create, not just them, but the gaming industry in general need more open world. Yeah, but that that open world, come on now. And going, going to, like, a, a wizard school and shit. Going to, like, a wizard school, you see your friends, y'all all talking shit to each other. You know, because everybody, everybody in their own different categories of, like, you know, wizards. They, there's actually, like I said, there's categories to that shit. There's, uh, 
there's like uh Gryffindors, Slytherins, uh Hufflepuffs, like there's different like groups. There's different groups to that. Why didn't you make it to where um you know everybody could be, you know, walking around talking shit to each other and shit, make it like open world. But then again, you can't be like a uh I think they had it to where you can't be like a dark, you can't be like a dark wizard. But it is open world though, right? Uh, define open world. Define what you consider open world. <sighs> GTA, a map, okay. like, would, but like, wherever. but GTA you still feel like it's restricted. So, but open world. Yeah, I, I, I it might be kind of like that, but it's like you know, most open world games is like uh World of Warcraft and shit. Like you could run around open world, but then there's other people on there. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's the same concept. If you gonna I make mean, like a, if, it, like I said, it just depends on your opinion on open world. Because Skyrim was open world, but you know, I don't think Skyrim was multiplayer. Skyrim, you just walk around, you know, doing shit. Um, World of Warcraft, open world, but then there's people in it. New World, open world game, but then there's people in it. So why didn't they continue on the journey of, you know? This is an open world game, but people's in it. Because you know how dope that would be for you to be able to walk past people and, you know, talk trash to people and, and, and join people quests and stuff. As a wizard, we don't have nothing like that. <clears throat> we don't. You got to go through school and you got to learn and shit. Like, you know, that'd be crazy. But they, fun, they, they really fun with the ball on that. Nah, they didn't see what they know is people don't like going to school in real life, you know what I'm saying? So they're not, not making you go to school on a game because they know they can take over new days. Who wouldn't want to go to Hogwarts? <laughs> but I don't know. So, so you saying you can't get sorted into your own house? I yeah, thought you they can said you can't. Home, okay, you I, th- can I thought they said you can't be like with Gryffindor and Slytherin. Yeah, I thought you can you... do all that. But all you, right. just, you just won't be able to. Um... Like you get, you can have your own house and shit, but you mm-hmm. know Hogwarts. You know you gotta go to school, right? Hogwarts and shit. But um, like I was, just, it's just disappointing, a, a major letdown that y'all don't have it. As much where time. you know, everybody else that's there is real life people. Got you. That's what that's all the fuss has been about. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I remember. I'm just saying. So it's open world, but it's it's not open world. It's, it's, so, it's it solo. Like it's open it's world, but it's open not world. multiplayer. Right, it's solo open world. Yeah. It's it's kind of like Mortal Kombat was or what it was, Deception or some shit. I remember that remember one? That yeah, man. What the hell? It was like all the ones that came out before the You know what the first time on my mind when I what? Need for speed. Yeah, that's open world. Nah, as being open world and not having like a solo? Yeah, back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. Open world know. with online. Like you riding around the streets and you can pass niggas, you can sit there and race them, all that shit. Just like with Forza. It's open world. Underg- Underground 2 was open world with multiplayer though. Yeah, it is. And then you saw the new the new need for speed that just came out reminds me of Underground 2. I ain't heard anybody talk about the new Need for Speed, so. But yeah, but they haven't been, and that's crazy. It just came out with like a month ago or so. Yeah, because you know people was craving for Need for Speed game, but okay, right? And I think that, like, you know, I've I've always seen it through through the wire, man. And you know, motherfuckers was asking about an Underground Two, or Underground Two type, because back then what it was, uh, Underground Two, and the other one was Dub. Didn't Dub have a game that was something like Open World Two? Y'all don't remember the dub racing game, man? Yeah, I remember it, but I, I remember I didn't the play name it. of it. I, mean, I, I don't yeah. remember what it looked like. I mean, dub Midnight edition? Club. Midnight Club. Yeah, Midnight, Midnight Club, Club yeah. 3 Dub Edition. That's right. Yeah, it was it was, it was. was Open World 2. So, yeah, because like, they was, was in open, like the run-up. It wasn't online, though. But see, Underground 2 was. Need for Speed Underground 2 was online. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that was, that was the, the first game I had on PlayStation 2. And then I had that on PSP a lot. PSP. 
If you literally drive around, flash your headlights, that means you won't race. You start up a whole race. Right. So, so the and new one, Look, they even put the new name, Unbound. Need for Speed Unbound. I'm, I still ain't got it yet. I mean, it came out with like December, November, some shit like that. I think at the end of November. And I, I definitely still need to get it. It's still a new game. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they got decent ratings. So, so my favorite race speed game all time, and I used to play this shit at speed and computer, computer, and computer and everything. Cause you gotta download, uh, you gotta download it offline. Like you gotta download it online in a web browser, and then it has its own little exe file. You know what I'm saying, but Need for Speed World, hands down, they should have just kept updating that shit. I'm mad they actually went off servers, uh, like a couple years ago. But that was my shit, bro. When I'm telling you, I had cars, I had the money, you know, you like. I used to grind that shit out every. I was not paying attention in computer school. I mean, computer class. I was yeah. just grind that fucking uh, Need for Speed World out every day, every morning. That's crazy. Every fucking morning. Came out in 2010. This every when I was, morning, bro. D- bro, this when I was doing shit I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't even worried about a video game, or anything like that. I'm looking at it right now. Need for Speed World, or World Online. Yep. I was grinding that shit out every morning, racing people. I was some of the fastest car. I, I had this brought a Camaro. And then I, I, I think I went to, um, what happened? Oh, I graduated. I went to a fucking high school after that. Mm-hmm. It's cool, whatever. Never got a chance to play it. By the time I got to high school and started playing it again, my freshman year, sophomore year, I never played it. I didn't play it. And then I just found out a couple years ago it was service. And it made me thought back, like, bro, like, damn, I had all the fire, the fire, I had fire cars on that I had grinded. You know what I'm saying? What's a couple of years, I bro? A, I had a sixty-four Camaro. I'm reminiscing, black. Huh? <laughs> Since you over there reminiscing, look, you wasn't even paying attention. Oh, you was God, reminiscing. Bro. So wait, muffle, muffle, muffle. no, you good? You good? What? What's a couple of years though? Like, I think it was like, uh, it was like 2017, 2016, 2017, something like that. Maybe. 2015. Yeah, bro, that's almost like, that's almost like a decade ago. Hey, but still, bro. A couple Ooh, years. That... A minute ago, bro. Nah, that's, nah, that's facts, though. That's crazy. Yeah, that was my shit, and, and listen, it's crazy, like, open world games like that will pop up and just disappear, but you still got GTA Online, GTA 5 Online going strong. That's what I'm saying. That's what going I'm saying. Going strong. Insane. Like, so, no doubt, now that I'm older and got my own money and shit, like, I would have definitely invested. That was one game I would have had no problem. No problem. You should have seen the people on there that actually have invested their money into the game. You can tell the people that have invested their money into the game. Instead of doing a daily challenge to actually rent their cars up and shit, uh, win races to unlock certain shit like wheels and shit, like it was pouring money into the game. GTA they had some online is still kicking cars. because of basically uh, GTA Online. Basically, well, GTA as a whole is still being kept alive right now because of the uh, role playing shit. That is the only reason why it's still being kept alive right now. I don't know, bro. They're still going well, hard on, on consoles, too. You can't role play on no console. Regular regular lobbies on console ain't fun. At They're all. not, but they still but got people playing it. Because you, you got that weirdo. You got that weirdo that's been playing GTA since it first started. Just hunting down players for no reason. Yeah, but so at the same time, in, you, you, you do know GTA come... Biscuit for no reason. But they come out with new cars and new shit like all the time. Like, yeah, but you can't really. They do. You don't get they to do. enjoy it. You 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 gonna be driving around in passive mode. You don't get to enjoy the shit. That's yeah, why I, who go don't. Every, I, go, I go to invite. Only, Listen, I go to invite only buy all the new cars. Yeah, see, but that ain't, that ain't no fun. Listen, I I don't know about y'all. I go if if I'm on my console. You understand? I go into public. I do the same thing on my on my PC, but I do play role play. But on my console, I go into regular lobbies. You come running up on me if you fucking want to. I am that nigga. <laughs> I'm yeah, going see, to the. You don't. You don't have to like uh like on console. Console GTA is one of the most toxic things I ever played. No, yeah, been for years. I'll go into a lobby. Boom. Orbital shot. Boom. Uh, the people that's on them damn flying bikes. Boom, the people that's in the flying car. 
But I got I all that like, shit. I but I got all that shit too. But after a while, you just get that shit get old. Nah, you know do get, it do get like, boring. But like, I'm trying to do these missions. Yeah, I be trying to do missions, but then you got somebody that's ranked a thousand out here just, just, just out here just won't just mess with people for no reason. To be honest though, like I don't get, like I don't know what it is, but when I'm on a map, they don't just come fucking with me. Maybe it's because what the fuck I drive around in though. I am driving in that shit that says don't come fucking with me. I'm with the shits. And my bank account is ready for war on GTA at all times. So if I'm, but that's why I stopped playing it because it was boring. It like I feel like a ride around like an armored car. Nobody wants to do that all day. Yeah, now nah, I, nah, I get what you're saying because whenever I did want to pull out my nice cars and make some content and shit, now nah, I had to go on a private line because. But like even 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 like just that to shit go get and old. do like the glitches and shit that I be doing. Sometimes you need to be in a public lobby to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because some shit you only can do. do that. In a public life, huh? it got to the point where I even tried to, you know, we even tried to host a car show. You know how long that car show lasted? Not if you that did it in a public lasted, lobby. That car show lasted a good five minutes. You did it in a public <laughs> lobby. Five minutes. Well, you did it in a public so lobby. First off, first off, you do that shit the invite only lobby. You set rules in the fucking lobby where you, you gotta worry about that shit. Cause people don't fucking fight. Like if you say it, if you say a rule, that don't mean somebody gonna follow it. You gotta put that shit in the place. You gotta make them follow that fucking rule. It's that one pro, bro. It's always you they always only, got one dumbass. You you can only go. You can only take somebody word for it. And they're gonna be like, yeah, we we gonna pull up to the call meet, whatever. Even in the invite only lobby, you invite people. You pull out because you know you, you just don't know everybody on GTA. So when True. you put out invites and then boom, they be like, "I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming." Everybody pull up, and all of a sudden you get this one ass weirdo that come and pull up. Wait, everybody talking, you know, showing off they cars, and this nigga then place bombs and shit all around and blow everybody up. Yeah, but isn't I think there's there's a way you could turn all that shit off in the lobby, right? Oh, uh, not that I know of. No, the only way you can do that is if you invite a bunch of people too. Yeah, it's an it invite lobby, though, right? Yeah, but that's inviting to the. I mean, you can invite anybody to your crew, your your, your business, but you have to do that and then turn on uh, no friendly fire type shit. Yeah, right. It's not, not all right. I see what you say. You saying like invite them to? You ain't the, got time to do all that. Especially yeah, right. Like 20, you, but you only got so many slots. You can't invite the whole damn you know lobby to your damn right. crew. You see what I'm saying? But no, I'm saying like the lobbies, like there's settings, like if it's, all right, say you're the lobby host. So by you hosting that lobby, there's certain rules you put in place for that lobby that the players that join in can or cannot do in your I'll lobby. But that's what I'm saying. Like in order for it to be I'll successful, know. sometimes you have to go that extra distance. Say you was doing it for content. If you just doing it just to fucking do it. No, I ain't saying you know what I'm saying? Go through that. But if you're doing it for content or you really, y'all really want to have some fun with it, sometimes you got to make people do shit. Because like Tony said, you can't always go off everybody's word. You always got that one dumbass that's like, yeah, dog, I got you. And right now he at the ammunition store stocking up on C4s and shit. Detonation yeah, bombs. Like, if, you, if you're not doing it for content, if you just be like, yeah, I just want to do a call, you know, I just want to do a call me, you know, you're not really doing it for content. You ain't trying to record nothing or anything. It's still, you know, you don't want to go through all those measures. Because you just, you know, you're just a regular day. You drive around and you whip. You just, you know, you're just trying to do a little car show, a little motorbike meeting. Tony, we talking about GTA. They tox. Hmm? We talking about GTA. Yeah. Them bitches tox. That shit ain't, that shit ain't about to happen. You got one nigga right now. He ain't, we ain't even really doing a car show, but I guarantee you, you got one nigga right now just wait. Yeah, dog. They said we doing a car. Somebody blow all them niggas cars up. GTA is the second most toxic game. But but they Who's be first? doing that to get their KD up, like this Call of Duty or some shit. Cause you know you actually have a KD in God. No, you do got a KD in GTA. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah, really you gotta... ask me who's first. Yeah, I'm asking Call you who Duty first. It's the most toxic game ever. Who? Call of Duty is for sure the most toxic game ever. I mean, I agree with that. I knew that before I asked the question, but we can't always assume that our listeners know. It might not be their number one toxic. 
you go into a Call of Duty lobby and say, hello, I hope everybody have a great day. You is getting cursed out by the whole lobby. <laughs> No, not the whole lobby. So, you got one dumbass gonna respond back. Oh yeah, no, man, my name is great. How's dogs yours? Too, nigga. Kids and dogs too. What? You walk Wait, in what? there, somebody gonna be like, kids and dogs too. Look, I don't, I, like, I don't yeah. agree with, I don't agree with kids playing Call of Duty. I don't either. I don't, I don't agree I with mean, kids. Do, but hey. I mean, who, I, like, what, what choice do you have? You know, like people say, kids but, are for video no, games, but, but kids ain't, ain't got no damn game, money. Though. That's just like Oculus. I don't really like kids on the Oculus because there's weirdos on the Oculus. Right, exactly. But then again, like, you can't. There's nothing you can do about it. Imagine when the, the world goes can... Ready Player One. Just imagine. It's gonna be a lot of fucking fat ass weirdos out there in a whole jumpsuit, laying down, rubbing his fucking nipples. You understand what I'm saying? It's just... The game yeah, world is a Oculus, creepy fucking world. The most you can do on the Oculus is monitor the kids. But the, the the thing about the thing about the creepy people that be on the Oculus, they don't never like they they think about they like okay let me create a kid character or whatever. But none of them think to actually have a kid name. One dude, okay, boom. <laughs> so, got I got my kid playing the Oculus, and every now and then I go to see you know I go on the Oculus app because I have the Oculus app on my phone. So I right. go on the Oculus app to see who he's friends with on them. Now I hear this person talking, and I know for sure this ain't no damn kid. But he was just like, "Yeah, this this dude's one of my friends. He's a kid, whatever." I said, "Okay, okay." So when I go, when I when I pull up the uh, the list of friends on the Oculus, I pull up the list of friends, and this nigga name was Smoke too much. <laughs> nigga, you know, what? kid. Kids smoke not, nah, bro. Nah, smoke too much. Another person's name was like Ass Poppy or some shit. I'm like, what the? F-? Say these little kids out here will blow your mind. Some of the shit. I'm just telling you, they're shocking. I ain't saying you wrong. I'm just they saying you never fuck. know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> they deleted his fuck. They out of here. Every now and then, I go and check his friends list. Up out of there. They playing the games, but you playing games. You no, know I'm saying. Which is weird. Nah, people are weird. People are weird. Some of the some of the shit that's going on with Call of Duty is is weird. But I heard the rumor about the backpacks thing, like for this toxic ass fucking game. But I I didn't see nothing else. I heard about it from one of the hunters, but I didn't see anything else on it. But for sure, hardcore is coming back. Resurgence map that looked like that one from Vanguard I told y'all about. Remember the little Japanese Chinese map on Vanguard? You can shoot through the you know through the doors and windows and shit. You can run through them. You know what I'm talking about? Nope, not a clue. <laughs> you you didn't play Vanguard, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. I played so Vanguard. Nah, I okay. played it, but I deleted it because you know. So you remember that map where the Chinese? It was like. It was like one of the imperial Japanese buildings was on fire or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's the theme of the new resurgence map. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like that. Which is stupid. Carry on, though. You know, I, I don't understand why they're doing it. Like, I, I'll show you. If y'all can give me your attention, please, uh, to exhibit A. Why would you take something off the worst Call of Duty ever made and bring it to this one? <laughs> so this is what this is not the map, but this would be the theme, oh, so to no. speak, of the I map. map. Right. I remember this map. This was a terrible. This was a terrible time. Yeah, I mean <laughs> the map was all right, depending on where the fuck you was standing. This was a terrible time to be alive. Yeah, you just I, like this. This was like that map, the Mexico map, like the one you love, Tony, that we all hate so much. Nah, nah this one was on a whole different level because, first of all, this map was big. This now that, map was big and small at the same time. At the same time, right. <laughs> like, this map had so much open space on it, but you had to travel through so much buildings and stuff to and get rubbish. to that open space. That's what I'm saying. Like, you had to stand in the right spot to make it. Yeah, that you was couldn't just. Yeah, you couldn't just be running. No, fuck no. 
And if you were a sniper that uh, that had a good spot, it didn't matter because there was so much open space behind you or on the side of you. You were still you, you you didn't have any cover. You had a whole lot of non cover. So what they can do instead of being stupid is take say Verdant, right, and then mm-hmm. take part of Verdant and turn that into a resurgence. I'll turn that into a rebirth island type shit. You know That's what, what I said, bro. I, I, I'm I glad I'm not the only motherfucker that thinks like that. Island, Cause I don't really care. They can turn anything into a rebirth island. I just want rebirth island just so we can have tournaments again. Right, I dig that too. I dig that too. But I don't. I don't think that's the reason we don't have tournaments. I think we don't have tournaments uh, because they're not doing any. Which they also said is coming in season two is ranked games. So I don't think they're ranking shit. Like, well, also, ha- ha- have you seen your KD after for fucking, Warzone? Half the game still fucking missing. Half the so game is still missing. Thing they should be worried about right now. Like they're not even tracking stats on this shit yet. But that's what I'm saying. Listen, they're like, tracking stats for KD, but like, they, I mean for multiplayer, but they're not tracking stats for Warzone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. But you also notice in the notification menu, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, menu, that it was always new shit popping up where it got patch notes and stats. It was always something new popping up. But if you also look, it also says, oh, uh, Warzone stats coming soon. It, you know, it, you notice it never, it, it says that, but you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's coming, but at the same time, you, at the same time, that lets you know that it's still mission shit in this fucking game. I said this on past oh, podcast. You sorry, bro. They ain't good enough, bro. I need some competition. I, I said this on a past podcast. I think they're only doing that so that COD League can get their issue first. Once COD League get their shit out the way, then every, everybody else gets, you know, full reign and access. Cause it was well, it's kind of crazy because I had a conversation, surprisingly, a conversation with TC Tech. A little uh, streaming that's on Twitch. He one of the big, big Call of Duty streamers. Like he streamed with Tammy and all of them. But anyway, he was, I was really talking about the same thing. I was like, uh, like a lot of this game is missing because it's like you could get in a lobby and you get in a lobby with nothing but box. You know what I'm saying? And then the next lobby you get into, you know what I'm saying? It'll be maybe to like 30 KD or some shit like that. And I'm like, of course, because how can a game you know, I can, and he's like, I don't understand skill-based matchmaking. And I'm like, how can the game have skill-based matchmaking if they didn't have nothing to uh, base your skill off of? What are they basing the skill off of? In this game? I say they do. I say you know they, I say they are tracking it and they know our stats. I don't believe that they letting us know our stats. So see, once they make the stats public to us, then sites like Stat Tracker, GG, and all in the other uh, WZStats.GG, all those type of apps and websites that track our stats now have domain to them so i believe that they're yeah, keeping everything on wraps so nobody else can get it either i don't think so because it's like how can you in other words how, how do you explain oh other than before you yell out vpn or all this, how do you explain oh uh, yeah you know one 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 lot yeah not this and he, he, that nigga KD is like right now. That nigga got a nice ass KD. If he complaining about getting into lobbies with, you know, niggas that's just straight dog and I'm like, come on, bro. Like, he do the shit for a living. I used to watch this nigga on Rebirth Island. That nigga used to be getting dumb back to back to back to back. Like, it's so bad. Like, they, like, everybody just come in his Twitch chat. Like, you have chosen Twitch chat. Like, oh yeah, show us your VPN. Show us this. Show us that. He'd be like, bro. And like, every day, he'd be like, He's showing his 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 past manager and shit like that. And he's like, I just don't understand. I'm like, I mean, you can't really have skill based matchmaking if they don't have nothing to base the skill off of. Because at this point, it's just a bunch of motherfuckers just running fucking one on games. You know what I'm saying? So you just assume it, like you just assume it, like yeah, bro, I got a five KD because I got five kills that last, or I got six kills that last game, I only die one. And it's been like that, you know. You just assume it. You know, you know what I'm saying? So the game is assuming too. All right, you you've played you've played with me in Warzone, right? Yeah. So, do you believe that I should be in the same lobby with Huskers? Ooh, Huskers, I don't, I don't. Ooh, Huskers. is. You know who Huskers uh, is, Tony? Yes. But then, yeah, but um, 
No, because Huskers is a pro player. So you exactly. should be in the lobby with pro players. But then again, that's how these pro players play, basically. Well, he they was in the tournament. He yeah. was in the tournament. This was in was on one in Verdansk, like before Caldera. And we were right there outside of the state the stadium. It was me, uh, Premium Nation, Biggs, and I wanna say it was it wasn't Mrs. Coot. I forgot who it was. It might have been Death to You. I'm, I don't remember who it was. It was one of them. But anyways, all four of us were in the house, the house right outside the stadium. Somebody come through in a rose suit, a rose skin, and hippity hoppity throughout the house. And within 30 seconds, my entire team was dead. And nigga was like, man, that was Huskers that just killed us. So I was like, no way. So I pull up Huskers on stream. And sure enough, by his shit being on a stream delay, we watched our team wipe. Bibbidi bobbidi boom. We were all gone. I'm like, how the fuck we even like he was running the tournament. But my whole my question then is still as it is now is how the hell we was in the lobby with him. Fuck, I get in the lobby well, with Huskers. Say, I'm trash. I should be in the lobby with Huskers. That's the same with me. Um, what's going on? I was complete, like for that, I was complete garbage. I'm not even kidding. I used to one kill like every six games. And every, every other than that, it was just piece of ace, man. But like you know, I still was in games with like. Like, I got killed by Joel. I still got this that clip on my PlayStation right now. Like I got killed by Joel, and I still don't know how the fuck I ended up in the lobby with him. You know what I'm saying? Like we talking about somebody with a with like a damn three point seven KD, KD a nigga with a point six nine KD. You know what I'm right. saying? Ain't, ain't, ain't no fucking way. See, my Verdan and my Verdan skills was two different things. Because Verdan, Verdan playing against teams in Verdan was so much easier for me than playing against you know teams in rebirth because rebirth, rebirth was so much more fast paced yes so much more fast paced i gotta speed up my gameplay plan over dance you could just wait it like you could just take your time you could plan your next move you can't do that in rebirth on rebirth you got your teammates and y'all 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 thinking on the fly for dance you get to plan your movement out so i, I didn't really have a problem with for dance just like just like this call of duty uh well, that's that's how what's programmers going on? play though but they like that's how you saying. said, Tony. But like how Tony saying he played in Rebirth. That's how pro players played on Verdansk. Like like it was close quarters, even though it was stretched out. Where's yeah, see, the next that, kill? That was fine with me because playing like playing fast paced on Verdansk, you're bound to slip up before me. That's that's how I became. That's how I became double betting. That's 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 how that became my thing. People used to be like, why this man always picking up Bettys? Because those double Bettys, if you play me fast paced with me having double Bettys, you're going to die. I don't care what pro level you own, because, um, what that is. On this one, I think it's like, uh, bombs, bomb something for this one. But on the other one, it was, um, what was the perk that, uh, let you not get blown up by one bomb? EOD. Um, yeah, no, they had stop. EOD, right? EOD, yeah. But EOD didn't work for double bouncing Bettys. It only works for one Betty. So that dual explosion, that Betty blowing up and then blowing up the other Betty, that's two explosions. <laughs> so you're going to die either way it goes. So what you're saying yeah, is, you right. call, who, who you calling out right now? Because you said don't no, matter I'm, what pro player. No, that, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying oh. that's how I became, that's how, that's how it was easier for me to play on a bigger map than playing on like rebirth because on rebirth you know you doing double betties but yet you know you're around those double betties too because you in like a smaller this area last week Who, who's the best hunter on the team that's why i'm like right now son one on two that's not fit like i'm a totally different player than i was on rebirth Wait. and got that <laughs> you say the best hunter on the team and what call of duty you niggas don't play nothing else no, I'm saying like in like what oh, aspect? Oh, you said in multiplayer or Warzone? Yeah, That's like in what aspect? Uh, right now multiplayer. Who who, who busting? Probably me. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to do a customs because 
I don't we ain't know. talking about no goddamn cat. We, we ain't talking about no domination, nigga. Who, who, who no, free fall. Fuck no that. Domin- free fall. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, be, let's be honest. Who we? Who we going? Who? Who? Like who we going to say who's who better than me? I don't know. I want to see who that. Than me? In what? Because I play. In what? Who better than me in multiple? I'm not, gonna say, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say if I'm better than you. you I can guarantee you right now. I can uh, put. This, I can put. I'll put money on them. If I didn't have people playing my, uh, I'm my not even. Bro, I'm not talking about. I'm, 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 I'm not talking about. I'm not like, that, talking about. In that aspect, when it comes but wait, to but wait, not, that's not. We're not talking about KD. Mine is domination. Mine is all the objective base. Nobody touching me and team that match kill the fun. I don't know. I think we talked about that. That you were pretty decent. If you play in anything, because even kill but, confirm, I don't even gosh. confirm my kills. Like you can even wait, sit there, you, you can sit there. No, no, no bullshit. You, you, can sit there you, you say nobody you, touched you in team death match? No, ain't nobody touching me in team death How, bro? We didn't play team death match multiple times, and I'm above and, and, you every they, time. Yeah. No, you not. You only above me when I let other people play. Just because I'm on a headset. Listen, just because I'm on a headset don't bro, mean I'm playing a game. Bro, that, that's every what, that's time what I'm playing. you play team death match with you, bro, when you was on the I know the difference between when you on the joint team and you not on but and listen, sit here. See here, no, no, bullshit. All my games recorded. Bullshit. Don't make it seem like every time, oh, here, bro, I'm above you every time. No, Damn, this game, you can sit here, you can ask Eric, look. No. So, it has been another episode of the Hunterscope Podcast. Next week, we're going to find out who's the best. It'll be games uh, when I got, I'm dropping 40, 50 bombs, bro. Uh, but it'll be niggas with like 15, 28 kills, bro. Drop a 40 oh my god. Ever. I'll send it. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. I got you. And you if you think go. I'm lying, if you, you think I'm lying, I can, I can bro, add somebody to this Discord right now. You don't have I can to add somebody.